It's a party in turmoil, divided and down in the polls. But tonight, current leader Jeremy Corbyn and challenger Owen Smith will try to convince Labour members in the North East they can put the party back into power. The two candidates for the Labour leadership will be going head to head on stage in Gateshead in less than half an hour. Well, our political editor Richard Moss is there. So Richard, how important is tonight's event for Labour? Well, this is the second of six hostings being held all around the country where Owen Smith and Jeremy Corbyn will go head to head facing questions from local party members. And this is an important region because it's got a large and growing Labour Party membership here. Now, the challenge for Owen Smith is this is the remnants of a very vocal and vociferous welcoming party for Jeremy Corbyn who came here just a few minutes ago. And of course, he won a huge mandate just a year ago. But this challenge is also for both candidates in terms of appealing to the Labour voters, traditional Labour voters, many of whom in the North East backed Brexit in the recent referendum, but also voters who may have drifted away in the last decade. Now, political correspondent Luke Walton has been talking to two party members about why they think their chosen candidate could be the best man to do that. Is this the man who can lead Labour to victory? These Durham supporters of Owen Smith certainly think so. The crowd not as big or noisy as those that regularly turn out for the current party leader. But for the likes of teacher Maureen, it's their candidate's wider appeal that matters. What Owen can do that Jeremy can't do is reach out to non-Labour voters. I think Owen really speaks the language of people who, I want to pay my mortgage, I want to have a job. Owen's speaking to them, Jeremy's not. A long-time Labour member, Maureen accuses Jeremy Corbyn of taking her party back to the 80s. But isn't it Owen Smith who is causing division? Owen Smith is not dividing the party. I think we know who's dividing the party. Owen Smith is the answer to Labour at the moment. We need to be in government. We need to push forward social justice. Social justice is also a top issue for Leslie, though she thinks Jeremy Corbyn is the man to achieve it. One reason why she joined Labour earlier this year. Really, uh, Jeremy's sense of who he is, his long-term commitment to tackling inequality in society really struck an, um, a resonance with me. Corbyn's critics say that he'll never be a future Prime Minister because he doesn't, he won't win over floating voters. I'm baffled by that because I can't think of a single politician that I have come across in my lifetime who's been able to command the change that he has. The sheer numbers of people who come along to hear him speak across the north, we've seen massive numbers of young people in particular, but also older people as well, genuinely interested because they want to hear him speak. Now that's exciting. Two flavours of leadership. Labour members will choose between them within weeks. Meanwhile, trouble in the party continues to brew. Luke Walton, BBC Look North. Well, Jeremy Corbyn and Owen Smith will go on stage in about 20 minutes' time here at the Hilton Gateshead and we'll have a full report on their pitch for Labour votes here at the Lake News at half past ten. OK, Richard, thank you. Hello, good evening. Jeremy Corbyn and his challenger Owen Smith have gone head to head on Tyneside in the latest round of the contest to lead the Labour Party. They debated at a public hustings at the Hilton Hotel in Gateshead and our political editor Richard Moss is there. What kind of reception did they get, Richard? Well, Jeremy Corbyn got a very good reception when he turned up here at the Hilton in Gateshead earlier this evening. Uh, he was welcomed by North East Party members and supporters. And actually that lasted through the evening because at the end of an hour and a half of debate, he got the longer and more sustained standing ovation from the audience here at Gateshead. Now, they agreed on much, Owen Smith and Jeremy Corbyn, on policy, but they disagreed on Brexit, for instance. Uh, Owen Smith wanting a second referendum, Jeremy Corbyn saying we need to accept the results of the one we've had. They disagreed on nuclear weapons, but they also disagreed on whether Jeremy Corbyn was developing the policies to get Labour back into power. Our party is a strong party, our party is a big party, our campaigning abilities are immense if we work together on those campaigning abilities. I'll just say, Jeremy, we've been here before. I say we've been here before and we've been here in my lifetime. We've had mass rallies, we've had a big party and we've lost successive elections. We know how this one ends, Jeremy, and it doesn't end well for the working people of Britain. You know, it's not about the t-shirts we wear and the badges on our lapels. It's about power. It's about power. 
all about power then according to Owen Smith, Jeremy Corbyn believes he can deliver now. Now the Labour members will actually deliver their votes in around about 10 days time, the result uh, towards the end of September. But both sides I talked to tonight are not convinced that this contest, whichever way it goes, will heal the divisions in the party. Jerry. Richard, thank you.